Hey guys, John Eric here with Dash Jewelry. Today we're going to uh, polish a card holder that we just finished making. It just came off the CNC machine very recently. This is our standard line. This doesn't offer any additional engraving. This is a uh, two-slot card holder. This holds uh, two different business cards. This one's going to be quick, so I'm going to do a video of this one. Now, this one shouldn't take very long to polish at all. Uh, my preferred polish is Mother's. Uh, they're not paying me to say that. It's just my favorite polish. I've used a lot of different ones, but this seems to work really, really good. You want to use a really soft microfiber towel. This one's 450 GSM, which basically means it's really, so uh, really soft. So this shouldn't take but just a couple minutes. I'll show you a couple of pointers, some tricks. I like to use a real light coating, not too much. Just start on something flat. Now this just came off the uh, CNC machine, so it was covered in lubricant. So I just rinsed it off with water. Uh, this one we're looking for a mirror finish, but we're going to leave the machine lines in it because this, like I said, is part of our standard line. So there's no customizing these. Uh, we do much, much bigger custom card holders. Uh, those are a different animal, I guess you could say. But I'm not pushing that hard. I'm not looking to uh, remove any scratches or anything like that. If you push too hard, even with a super soft towel and the best polish in the world, you can absolutely scratch aluminum with it. No problem. I have to do it one plane at a time. I see some pits or something in it. Some little machine marks here. So we may have to go over that again. That looks a little bit rough. That's okay. We can still make a video. So this one I won't be selling just based on I can see some uh, tool marks in there. If you can see those in the video. Those little they look like pits, but I don't think they're pits. I think it's... Uh, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like that. That's okay. We're just going to bust this out really quick and give you an idea of what it takes. If you already have one of these, and you're just doing maintenance, um, I mean, this shouldn't be a couple minutes max regardless. It's a very, very quick work. This has got very little polishing surface, so I'm not even going to apply the polish. And depending on the thickness of your cards, these will hold probably 30 to 40 business cards. If you're like me and you have metal business cards, it will hold about 20, 25, depending on if they're aluminum or stainless. The aluminum cards we make are a little bit thicker than the stainless steel ones. This is just a quick and dirty video to give you an idea of what it takes to uh, go from one finish to the next. This is going to be so quick, I'm not even going to wipe it off before I get the next one. When you've got letters like this, there's really not a better way to do it. You're going to be going what I call cross grain either way. So I apply slightly more pressure to get down all the little spots. You can see in the flag there is uh, little stars there, but they're not very deep, so it should be really, really easy to polish. And normally I wouldn't do the bottom on a standard line, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. On our customs and super customs, we do everything. We go way beyond what's necessary, but people who buy these custom ones, the big ones, they don't really care about what's necessary. I mean, nothing about it is necessary. They're way beyond reasonable. Mm -hmm. Our biggest one's about over 100 pounds is our biggest card holder so far to date. And I'm sure somebody will hire us to make a two or 300 pound one soon. I just want to show you how nice a machine finish can look. Now, there's lots of different types of machine finishes, too. There are many, many different ways this can wind up based on the tools they're being cut with. If you're not familiar with a CNC machine, it's basically like a giant drill press that moves bits across the metal to cut out shapes and edges and things like that. And of course, the final is generally what's called the face mill, which is what leaves these grooves in the metal. And the slower you do it, the less the grooves are apparent. The faster you do it, the more the apparency of the grooves will stand out. And we do lots that are textured like that on purpose. Like I said, if this was going to be a custom order and he wanted it polished, I wouldn't even bother with this step. I would go straight to a machine polisher. And uh, so we do a lot of that in-house for the bigger stuff. We've done some card holders that were, you know, 50, 60, 80 pounds. That's beyond my uh, capability. So I generally take those and have uh, a professional do those for me. The only drawback is many times a lot of this detail, you will lose that with the heavy polishing. You have a customer? Okay, we'll have to pause this video. Okay, so take three. So I've already pretty much hand polished everything on here. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. 
These are really, really easy to do. There's not a whole lot to do. The surface area is very small. One of the keys to this is make sure you have a very, very soft towel. And you'll find out how good your machinist is by the finish you get here. So nothing too complicated about this. I'll show you a couple of the other ones here in a few minutes. guys use gloves to do this but it's a good way to keep fingerprints off or at least extra fingerprints so here is a pretty much finished like I said we're gonna redo this anyway because I see that's got some uh, some dings in it but I'll show you another one <clears throat> so here is a similar one this one actually is a little bit different it's got a smaller slot for vertical business cards <clears throat> but I'll show you the difference in finishes Yeah. Right I, uh, actually, my car. So, I need Bryce to go to um, the bank. Okay, now we're on take four. So at this point, I'm just showing you the, the differences in the finish. A little bit of hand polishing, as you can see. There's a pretty big difference in the finish there. It's pretty obvious. So this is just quick and dirty. If you want a mirror finish, um, you're going to have to do machine polishing. I'll show you here's some more stuff we did. So this is machine finish as well. This is machine finish. This is machine finish. None of these have been done yet. These are some of our other ones. This is what it looks like with business cards in it. These are the, the miniature versions of what we do. Here's a four card holder, six, a nine, a single, a six for vertical cards, an eight for vertical cards. And we just did a two. That way it'd be a quick video. I'll show you some of the other ones. So here's also a machine finish with lots of dust on it. I gotta get my diet guys over here cleaning that stuff. Uh, but this, for example, this is uh, machine polish, so this gets really, really shiny. This is also machine polish, but if you notice, the definition in a lot of the letters is missing now. Uh, that's because to polish it with the machine, it takes some of the material out. Here's one that hasn't been polished. It was polished by hand, just like what you saw. But you see the definition is a lot better in those as well. I have one more big one over here. We just did this one. It's not done. It's just about finished. So this one actually has two of these trophies mounted to it. This is all one piece. And I can barely move it with one hand. This one's about 75, 80 pounds. So that's a little quick and dirty on uh, how to polish. And of course, this stuff hasn't been touched yet either. This is a tape dispenser. It's for scotch tape. Uh, post note holder. Much larger card holder. That one's about 10, 12 pounds. Here's a funny one. So that's our first, or I'm sorry, this is our newest tape dispenser. This is our first design, which is quite a bit different. I like the new one a lot better. It's much cleaner. So this one was a prototype. This is a final. It's just got to be cleaned up. But uh, yeah, this one's about four pounds heavier, uh, quite a bit bigger, and it's beautiful. There's our logo on the top, so I guess we'll keep that one for us. All right, guys, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.